What does school teach you about money? Nothing. And that's not a mistake. That's not an accident. The way to keep the poor and middle class working hard is never teach them what the rich know. What the rich teach their kids about money, the poor and middle class do not. If you read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Rich Dad's lesson number one, the rich don't work for money. Don't you touch that stuff. If I pay you, you think like an employee. Your brain will change. If you learn never to work for money, you'll be a rich man. The people that are being screwed today are the poor middle class because they work for money. You know, the banker press, they're not working for money. They have money working for them. Yep. Very big difference in mentality here. What is financial education? It's not get a job, work hard, save money, and invest in a well-diversified portfolio, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and ETFs. That's not it. The financial industry is two things, debt and taxes. Debt and taxes. And we still tell kids to go to school, get a job, work hard, save money, and get out of debt. Now who tells them to do that? That's the most ridiculous thing there is. The book starts and it says, lie number one, saving money will make you rich. Yeah, it never will. You know that. We're all taught that as kids. Yeah, because they can print it. Why would you save it and why would you work for it if they can print it as faster than you can work for it? And, and number two is they keep dropping the interest rates on it. You know, Japan still has ZERP, zero interest rate policy. And the Japanese are the biggest savers in the world. And I'm Japanese, I'm fourth generation. They're not too bright. Right. Why do you keep saving when they're printing it? You know, when I'm in Japan, that's what I mean by fear. They're so afraid because the Japanese, good culture, but they do as they're told. Right. It's very conformist. Very conformist, very conformist. So they just do as they're told, and then they just save money, and their government, this guy Abe, Abenomics, is just printing trillions of it and buying ETFs with it. and. And they don't know what to do. They're afraid they might make a mistake. They're good little students in school. Go to school, get a job, don't make mistakes. So what happens to the average person in a financial crash, they don't know what to do. And right now, as you know, for the middle class of the world, we're in a crash. The, you know, the, the purchasing power of the, of the yen, the euro, the rupiah, all going down. And people are working harder and harder and harder and the central banks of the world are printing more money. And so if someone's listening to us that's stuck in that poor middle class trap and they hear it's their fear that ultimately is keeping them from that, that's a hard thing to hear, Robert. But you're gonna give them the information about what they can do if they can get out of that fear. Well, every time I, you know, I do a lot of speaking to the masses out there, you know, Lehman doesn't invite me in because we're gone, but they go, well, what, what, you know, it's so risky. What you're saying is risky, and I said, what I do isn't risky for me, but it's risky for you. And when somebody says, what is risk? You have to look in the mirror. Do you know what I mean? For me to fly in Vietnam, that was high risk. But the higher the risk, the more you have to study. You know that, I know that. So if you're not gonna study, you're not gonna practice and all that, then you should do what Wall Street tells you to do. Buy 401ks, mutual funds, ETFs and all that. But that, that's where they're fake assets, because they only make Wall Street or the city of London rich. Just watch where the cash is flowing. Follow the money. The reason the rich don't work for money is number one expense is tax. See, there's three kinds of income. Earned, portfolio, passive. So earned income is if I get a job, that's earned income. If I'm a doctor or a programmer, that's earned income, because I'm working for it. If I, buy a, if I buy, let's say, Apple for $10, and I send it for 20, that's portfolio income, capital gains. Yeah. But passive income, which is cash flow, is never taxed. So it's not, and so all these guys are screaming right now in America, tax the rich, I said, good luck. Because most of the guys complaining, they don't know the three kinds of income, and the rich don't have jobs anyway. They have assets. And so the average schmo out there, a poor guy, you know, sent the kid to school, they don't learn this. So that's why in fake, as you were talking about it, there's that newspaper article about Jared Kushner. Yeah. 
And he explains how the Trumps and the Kushners don't pay taxes and make millions of dollars. And the reporter couldn't understand him because they're not, our schools will never teach you that three types of income. And they judged him and say they're wrong and it's cheating. And we see that over and over again, Amazon not paying taxes. What do you say to people when they come up to you and say, Robert, it's not fair. It's not fair they're not paying taxes. Well, there's always three sides to a coin, you know, heads, tails, and the edge. You know, so which side of the coin are you on? From my side, it's fair. But this is the difference. Everybody can do the same thing I do because the tax laws are for everybody. You know, we don't say, well, the tax laws are only for the rich. No, the tax laws are for everybody to use if you have the right financial education. And the reason I'm an advocate of financial education, without that education, you have to pay taxes. You see, very few people will buy what I do, make a million dollars and pay zero tax. That takes, and my rich dad taught me that playing Monopoly. That's how it started, you know, four greenhouses, one red hotel. Or the McDonald's formula, I write about it here. McDonald's, Ray Kroc. Yeah. McDonald's is in the real estate business, so they sell hamburgers, but they buy real estate, so they pay no taxes. You know, this guy Bezos, well, he's $16 billion. How much tax do they pay on that $16 billion? Zero. And that's all legal. Anyone can do it. Everybody can do but it. But everyone, most people lack the education. Correct. So Jared learned about money when he was a kid by Correct. watching his father, by watching these people invest in real estate and said, wow, not only do you get to make the money, you get to keep the money. That's a big problem a lot of people don't understand. They, oh, look how much money I made, but how much did you keep? Because that could be half. How much tax did you pay? Right, what tax did you pay? And so well, you always say, this is the law. The law is true for every citizen. You can do it, but most people just don't do it. Sometimes, like you said, they don't have the education, but you need to have a plan if you're gonna go do risky things. Well, it's not risky. I mean, to me, what's, what's risky is having a job and paying taxes and saving money because they're printing it. You know, that's the worst thing of all. And that's why there's fake money, fake teachers, because the teachers will never, they don't know it. Right. And fake assets because Wall Street or the city of London or Lehman Brothers or Goldman and all, they're not gonna tell you this. Yeah. How are there billionaire bankers today? Aren't they supposed to be watching your money, you know? You said in here also, the greatest asset you have is your mind. What does that mean? If you really want to be a rich, take a class on real estate. Once you understand real estate is based on debt, learn how to use debt as money. So that once you learn how to use debt as money, you can never say, I can't afford it. You see, because the banks will give you, so the banks, after the crash of 2008, the banks gave me $300 million tax-free to buy real estate that the idiots had lost. I hate this, and then they were idiots because the prices were so high. Why would you buy it at the top of a market? Don't you know that's going to crash? They all, oh, no, no. This is, you know, that was the subprime, was the derivatives market, the MBSs and all that stuff. Had driven the price of real estate so high, and the rest of us were just waiting. And then when the whole thing came crashing down, all this real estate was now available and they needed, you know, the, the Fed and those guys in the Treasury needed guys like us to go in there. So Wall Street gave us hundreds of millions of dollars to mop up all that real estate these guys had lost. Now, it's fair because everybody could do it. Right. So, uh, you know, when I asked the average guy, I said, can you, why don't you use debt? They can't even get a loan because their scores, their FICO scores, well, they don't even have them here, are so bad. Right. Right. So that, that's what's going on in the world today. It's fake money, fake teachers, fake asses. The school teachers will never tell you that because they don't know it. My poor dad never knew that. And he thinks they think the rich are crooks. The rich just play by different laws. The rules are the same, but you have to do what the government wants you to do. Never say, I can't afford it. Ask yourself, how can I? The reason I have so much money is because I don't say I can't do it. I just go, how can I do it? And I just go and do it. I make a lot of mistakes, but that's how I learn. How can I? It's just a matter of personal willpower, which is spiritual. Just saying, if they can do it, I can do it. And how can I? How can I? And yeah. I think it's you once said, words become flesh. Yep.